it's your girl Claire and um, today I'll be very brief and I'll be um, encouraging someone very quickly um, with the Word of God and um, it's all about um, encouraging someone who is down in the valley right now um, when I talk about being down in the valley I am actually talking about um, someone who is you know at a low place um, someone who is um, at a place um, where he or she is uh, about to um, give up hope um, where he or she thinks all hope is gone and um, um, a place of hopelessness so when I talk about being down the valley so I am talking about a shallow place um, I am talking about um, a place of despair I am talking about um, a place of discouragement so um, I just want you to know that the same God up on the mountain is still God when you are down in the valley um, there's a reason for which you are going through the valley experience or should I say the valley process so um, it's a passing phase in other words you are walking through it and um, it's not a permanent place okay it's not a permanent place it's a place that you are just walking through because the psalmist makes us to understand if you, if you read the book of Psalms um, 23 he says something there he said though I walk through the deepest valley in other words he was trying to say no matter how dark the valley is and no matter how shallow no matter how deep you know um, the valley is anytime I find myself you know walking through um, that place of despair that place of um, hopelessness that um, place of discouragement in other words that a uh, place where it seems like all hope is gone he says something he said um, because he was actually trying to encourage himself in the Lord so he said even though I go through it he, he, he made sure he reassured himself he was trying to reassure himself that even though I go through um, a time of despair, a time of discouragement, a, 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 a time of hopelessness, you know, no matter how dark, you know, um, the process is, he was trying to say, I know I am not alone. I am not going through it alone. Why? Because God never takes a man, you know, from somewhere and just leaves you, you know, um, at a point you know where you are all alone by yourself in other words he doesn't just god doesn't just bring you um to a place um where you find yourself you know all alone in other words if he took you out from you know where you are and brought you into the kingdom or into the um a place of light you know um he doesn't abandon you he doesn't um neglect you he takes you all the way god never takes a man you know from one point and just leaves him at the middle of nowhere amen he takes you all the way man might take you to some point and abandon you but god never disappoints you he takes you all the way so when you find yourself in that place you know of hopelessness when you find yourself in that place you know um, of despair, you know, in, in that place where you feel like um, you should give up, you know, on yourself and on God. I want you to always remember this, that you are not alone. You are not going through the process alone. Like I said before, the same God with you on the mountaintop, you know, where the view is beautiful. That same God is still with you down in the valley where the view is not beautiful. Because when you're down the valley, you cannot, um, you know, have a good view, you know, from from the va valley place. Amen. So it's only when you're on top of, of the mountain that everything looks cozy and everything looks blissful and everything looks good. But down in the valley, it is a place of, um, you know, brokenness let me put it that way it, it's a place you know where um sometimes you just feel like you are on your own or um you are going through it all alone so you are discouraged you're broken you are um discouraged and you know you just feel like throwing in the towel so i want you to know that it's not yet time for you to pack your bags it's not yet time to give up on god you are not going through it all alone amen he says something he said 
Though I walk through in verse 4, Psalm 24, uh, 23, sorry, verse 4, he said, even though I walk through, in other words, it is not a permanent place. I am only going through this dark place at the moment, you know, it is a momentary thing. Amen. It is not permanent. He said, do I walk through, you know, the darkest place of my life? He said, I know, God, you are with me. In other words, you are still there for me. In other words, you will never turn your back on me. You were never going to abandon me in that dark place of my life. Amen. So no matter how difficult the situation is, just know that he's still with you. Amen. He says, I will not what I will not be afraid. I will fear no evil. He said, no matter how dark that valley is, I will not be afraid because I am conscious of the fact that you are with me, that I am not left all alone in that difficult situation, in that um difficult place, you know, place, place of difficulty. He said, because what your rod and your staff they comfort me in other words you are my consolation when i am down in the valley you are the one who raises up my head in glory if i am down you know in the valley you are still the one who uplifts me you are still the one who inspires me you are still the one who encourages me oh lord he said you are still the one who will raise me you know it's just a place a, a, a temporal place you know it is a place that i am just walking through it is a process that i am just going through it is a wilderness experience and at the end of the day you know i will come out triumphant because i know that your road in your staff they comfort me you are my comforter you are my consolation you are my helper you are my strength so he was trying to say no matter how you know low my spirit is no matter how um, low, you know, uh, lonely I am down in the valley. He says something. He said, you will uplift my spirit again. You will encourage me. You will inspire me. You will lift up my spirit. So um, I am encouraging someone today, no matter where you find yourself down in the valley, don't give up hope. God who is always there with you when everything looks blissful, when everything looks good, when everything looks like, um, you know, where the view is beautiful, when everything looks so perfect, that same God is with you in that shallow place, in that ugly situation, in that uh, um, difficult moment, in that difficult situation, he is still with you. And he is not only with you, he lives in you. God has taken his abode in you. If you are a child of God, because I am talking to you today, you are going through that thing you are going through for a purpose, for a reason. You are not just going through the uh, um, valley process or the valley experience, you know, um, just like that. It is happening for a purpose. It is a refining moment. It is a moment that will beautify you. It is a moment, you know, that, that, that will uh, mold you and shape you, you know, into that person that god wants you to be amen i want us to quickly go to psalm 27 also it says something it says the lord is my light in other words god you're my light and my salvation you are my saving grace you are my strength you are my shield you are my deliverer you are my fortress he said whom shall i fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life. In other words, you are my firm foundation. You are my fortress. You are my strong tower. With you, O oh God, I am confident of this very thing, that everything will just be fine. He said, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. In other words, you are a place of refuge, O oh God, to me. For this reason, I will not be afraid. I will not fear, because I know you are always with me. So I'll be rounding up by saying, whether you are down in the valley, whether you are up on the mountain, the same God up there is still the God down there. The God of the day is still the God of the dark. So no matter how dark the valley is, be rest assured that the same God who has been with you when you were in the light will still be the God who will lead you in the dark. Amen. God never leaves you and turns his back on you. He leads you all the way and he is taking you somewhere.
where you are right now is not a permanent place okay down in the valley that's not where you belong it's just a refining process and it is a, a, a place that will you know remold you and reshape you and bring glory to god himself amen god bless you and i love you i just want to quickly encourage you with these few words god bless you and see you in my next video remember the lord is with you even down in the valley god bless you and i love you